Today we're going to take a look at the NG Prime HD Mini DV camera. This little camera reports in 1080p, 720p, and has night vision, as well as motion detection. It comes with a cable to connect to your computer or charge source, the camera itself, and a mounting bracket. This little end of the cable that it comes with plugs into the camera itself to charge the camera and transmit video to the computer if you'd like to use it as a webcam. It slips in all the way there and it slides into a port right next to the SD card slot. When you first get the camera, they recommend that you charge it for two to three hours. You can charge it via USB. We're going to charge it with my Surface here. I'm going to plug it in right here to the USB. You can see that the camera is charging by the little red light indicator on the camera itself. You can see it right there. When it's bleaking, that means that the camera is charging. When fully charged, you can use it for 30 to 100 minutes depending on the features you use. Now that the camera is fully charged, let's power it on. To do that, you want to hold down the power button right here. You can see it's indicated by the little power icon there. I'll hold that down for two seconds. There we go. That little blue light means that the camera is on. Now, currently the camera doesn't have an SD card in it, so that's why the light is blinking blue and red. To fix this problem, we're going to go ahead and insert an SD card so we can see what it looks like when you have an SD card inserted and power the device on. Slip it in here real quick. It slides in like that. There we go. All right. Then now we're going to push the power button for two seconds. 1,000, 2,000, there's the blue light. There we go. Now it's ready to roll. Now let's record our first video in 720p. Start with the camera on, push the power button, and the blue LED will blink three times. That lets you know it's recording. When you're done recording, press the power button and it will stop. The blue LED will come back on to let you know that it's stopped. Let's see that one more time. Power's on, push the power button, three blinks. Now we're recording. And stop by pushing the power button again, and we're done. Now let's put the camera into 1080p mode. To do this, push the mode button and hold it until you see the red and blue lights. Once you see these, you can start recording with it. To do that, just press the power button, like in 720p mode. Now it's recording. To stop, just press the power button again, and it stops. You can see the blue and red LED indicating that it stopped recording. Now let's put the camera into night vision mode. To do this, start with the camera off in the resolution that you want to record it. Turn the power on, and while the blue light's blinking, hold the power button for two seconds. The red light will flash three times, and it's ready to go. Activating the motion detection mode is very similar to activating the night vision mode. When powered on, simply press the power button and hold it for three seconds instead of two seconds. When the red LED blinks three times, the mode is activated. To put the camera into photo mode, turn the camera on, and then press the mode button two times. Once the LED goes from blue to red, it is in photo mode. To take pictures while in photo mode, simply press the power button. You can see here the camera is in photo mode. By pressing the power button, the light will blink and you know it's taking a photo. After using the camera when you're ready to power it off, all you have to do is hold the power button for 6 seconds. And there it is. It's powered off. Another cool thing that comes with this camera is that you can use it as an actual webcam. All you have to do is connect the USB here and then hook it into your computer. And you'll notice when you hook it into the computer, you'll see the drivers install. You can see it pop up right there. Now that the camera is installed, let's go and download some software so we can use it as a webcam. This free version called Debut Video Capture and Screen Recorder software is a nice free one that you can use. Just download it and then install it. And it's going to pop up and ask for administrative rights. Then just agree. And it's going to install. It's really fast to install. It's a pretty lightweight piece of software. Now once it's installed, I'll replug the camera in and let's go ahead and close this out and then we want to be sure to turn the camera off that way we can actually use it as a webcam if it's turned on it won't work click on tools then options there you can also hit control o then click webcam you see it populate there webcam 
and then you want to be sure to select the general dash UVC camera and it's 12 by 7 20 30 frames per second all right and there it is we've got camera feed you can see it looking at the screen there and it's working so now you can use this as a 720p 30 frame per second webcam for anything that you might desire you may have noticed that there's a timestamp at the bottom of the videos to change this all you have to do is click the camera up click on the time file and then change the dates right here. You can set the date, the time, down to the second. And then you'll notice at the end of this line, there's an N. That tells the camera whether or not to put the timestamp on the video or photos that you have when you take them. For me, I don't like having a timestamp, so I leave it at N. When it comes out of the box, it's set to Y. You have to update this anytime you put a new SD card into the camera. This file gets created anytime the SD card gets put in. So if you take it out and put it back, it gets overwritten. Thanks for viewing my instructional video on the NG Prime HD Mini DV Cam. Went over a lot of different features and a lot of different functions. I may not have gone into enough depth for everybody, but I tried to keep this video around five minutes. So if you have any questions on something I may not have covered enough, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the section down below. I'd be glad to answer that question for you. This is Joe the Guru. Glad to see you here. Hope to see you next time. Be sure to subscribe and click the notifications icon. That way you get updates on any new product that I release, uh, review for. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.